right besties so what I'm going to be doing today is a favor box in the form of a designer bag now the box that I decided to use on the inside can be either a gable box which you'll see at the end of the video or it can also be um, a box I bought this one from um, Etsy just because I want it to be able to close the lid and it not show through the top of my box so you'll see them at the end how I compare them but basically I decided to go with this box over the gable box how you decide to do it is completely up to you um, so basically what I am doing here is I have these three bags that I'm going to try and I will basically show you what I do to look for my bag I normally just type in let's say if I want a um, Gucci bag and I go to images and this is one that I had chosen um, let's see this one so I'll just go ahead and save to my downloads and then I'm gonna go back to Cricut I'm gonna go to upload I'm gonna go to upload image browse okay so I'll go to complex and then I'm just gonna remove all the white areas okay just like that pretty much and then go to continue and save okay so there you see the um, the bag there and I had a few others um, but I'm not going to do those on this video it would just take too much time because there is a lot of cutting um, so I will go back to my design and I will show you um, basically what I did I hit duplicate and for each bag I did a flip horizontal okay so basically they'll be mirror to each other and then I did another duplicate and I made that into a cut image so that will be for the backing on it um, just so that it's a little sturdier and then I'll do the same thing duplicate and then I'm going to change that into a cut image as well okay so then when I go to cut I will have black cardstock for these six and then I will do a print and cut on these so I'm gonna go ahead and go to make it also before I move on I'm just doing mine based off of the cardstock that I had which was 8.5 by 11 and it's really sturdy it's 110 pound cardstock so that was my main reason for using this if you have a silhouette and a white format printer you can go even larger with these so moving on to um, my printing and cutting you'll see here I have my six print and cuts and then I have my um, six cardstock cutouts so the first thing that I'll go is go to continue I'll send to printer I'm gonna go to advanced options and then I'm I'm always gonna print at best quality no matter what even when I do my test prints I print at best quality because I want to see how they're gonna come out for my client when I use 110 pound cardstock I always use craft board as my material so if you don't see it all you have to do is browse materials and then type in here craft board and then once you uh, search it it'll come up and I just star mine so that it'll show up on my uh, main screen okay so now I will go ahead and start with my cut I'm going to just use this tape because um, to save myself some time you can use glue if you want to but I'm 
when using this double sided tape it just makes it a little bit easier because you don't have to wait for that glue to dry and you can you know you just work This is permanent tape, so it, uh, it sticks really well. I use these for chip bags as well uh, and other treats for people who order from like Etsy or um, from my website. Like, um, I pretty much assemble them and then I put the tape right there and then that way they could stuff the chips in there and then peel off the thing and they're done. So um, this, this tape works pretty good. And the reason why I didn't use my tape runner for this is because I did test it out but for really thick jobs like this it doesn't work as good so maybe one that um, is more maybe like Xyron I've heard that tape runner is really good um, but the recollection brand does not work well on like super super thick items like this 110 pound card side for example so this is just one of the things that I've noticed it doesn't stick as well but this um, has been amazing. And I do just like to spread this as thin as possible. And then I will go ahead and attach this. And then I'll turn it on this side and do the same thing. Let this dry. Okay, so here is how they turned out. Here is my first Gucci bag. And this is my, this was my test print. And this doesn't have the black um, backing on it. So although it is pretty sturdy, like I would still be okay with this. Um, this one's just a little bit more sturdy. It will probably hold it a little longer. This one also has a gable box inside of it. Only thing that I didn't like was the fact that you can see the gable box from the outside and that's what made me look for a box with a lid. It really is up to you how you want to go about it. This is my other bag that I did. And then this is the last one. So. If you guys have any questions regarding this video, please let me know down below in the comments. I thank you as always for watching and I'll see you in the next video.